Welcome to episode 35 of Project 613. Our daily mitzvah study, which parallels those studying the three chapter cycle, has now completed book number two of the Mishnah Torah. But before beginning the next book, the study continues with the Rambam's order of prayer throughout the year and the way he structured his Siddur, his prayer book. Today's section contains the daily morning prayers and blessings up and until the Amida prayer. The question is often asked, if someone doesn't yet understand the prayers, should he nevertheless pray in Hebrew? While the details to answering this question is beyond the scope of this short video, the general idea is that it's preferable to pray in a language one understands. Certainly the core prayers of the Siddur, as the Rambam himself writes, prayer without concentration is not considered prayer. Understanding what you are saying is essential for the act of prayer. Prayer is called service of the heart. You can say all the words in Hebrew, but you haven't performed the mitzvah of prayer because your heart can't express itself with words you don't understand. Nevertheless, praying in Hebrew does have many advantages over praying in English. And so whilst a person should pray in the language they understand, they should still aspire to learn Hebrew in the long run, little by little, and pray in that language.